Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Thursday, February 1st, 2018. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimension and all other souls from all other dimensions as long as they're already living by the search for truth rules given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us and are, which includes contributing more to completing the search for truth assignments given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us then we are taking or using or borrowing in search for truth resources that's true there does seem to be some kind of body snatching attempt in play right now and now in an effort to uh, avoid things going from bad to worse in a short ugly string we're going to try uh, using the symptoms of the host lives which are always here our lives are beautiful bringers of messages we're going to try to use these symptoms as a way to get out of the ditch and back on track that's true and with that the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin reaching up and calling for those presences who really want for us the collective of the failed zone to reestablish upward flow and restating the intention to heal the root causes of the knuckle and joint issues in both host lives in such a way as to reestablish upward flow for us the collective of the contaminated zone and stretching even higher to reach to even higher presences who fit that qualification and merging the energy bodies more deeply and pulsing up the upward flow of electrons from below us calling to those presences who really really want for us the collective of the contaminated zone for us the collective of the failed zone to reestablish upward flow starting to see a hand up high who's pointing at a hook in the energy body and I, I can see the hook and it looks like a hook they were pointing to earlier this morning that comes up from below and then hooks in the energy body silver like maybe it's made out of some kind of galvanized metal someone is showing how it looks like that hook is attached to holy ropes that go down a very long well and at the bottom of the well there are lots of suffering people probably suffering presences in smaller dimensions and I think what this presence is saying is well until you pull up more well buckets or well buckets of these smaller presences up don't ask me any more questions about how to reestablish upward flow because there are the well ropes and it, the hook of them is tugging on the energy body enough that you're even noticing it so why are you like, bothering me with questions about it you little person well the only reason we're bringing it up is because it happens in the overnights when the bodies are supposed to be sleeping that is true and here you, I can show you on the timeline when it happens and it happens consistently night after night for two different bodies that's true four different hands two different bodies during the sleeping hours or the hours that are purportedly for sleep that's why we ask that's true that's why why do you ask why do you ask now it feels like that presence is stepping away from the top of the pillar and we can go even higher pulsing the upward flow of electrons up through us and reaching up higher, higher and asking up what now what now for us the collective of the failed zone to reestablish upward flow in such a way as to heal the root cause of the knuckle and joint issues in both host lives what now? what I'm starting to be shown is a presence in a much higher dimension who's looking for places to hide 
what looks like lies he's told or other related mistakes that he's made. Mm -hmm. And he's looking for places to hide them. And I think we can hear his thoughts. I don't think he's saying this out loud, but he's thinking, if I just put all these bad things in small enough boxes and uh, have lots of very small boxes of these bad things, I'm going to be able to hide them, uh, scatter them around, and then no one will trace it back to me. It's just not going to happen. That guy is so familiar. Right? I feel like we know him really well. And some presence above him is shining the light, the spotlight on him really solidly. It's February 1st. It is February 1st. You know what I know? It's on February 1st, 2012, Malaya, the, s the original soul of the Lynn life, uh, relinquished the body for Gabriel. Gabriel requisitioned the life, and Malaya said, okay. And M Malaya figured out how to get out in such a way that the body would still be running and that Gabriel could have it. That, that's what I know. Someone asked, what do I know? And I, I know that. And someone's giving the go on hand and they're saying, and then what happened? That's not what matters most. What matters most is that who is that guy right there? Is that guy Gabriel? He, yeah, that's Gabriel. Right? That's Gabriel. He's, that's him. So he's still viewing this. We see now, we do understand that probably he just requisitioned the life to be a karmic dumping ground. Yes. Right? A private... A uh, dumping ground, maybe? Yes. It doesn't right. feel like he intended to share it. No. And so, uh, how is that, it, how is that okay? How is that okay? Well, the feeling of the presence who is shining the light on Gabriel is something like, well, you've got to understand. Understand what? Understand what? Now that presence doesn't want to talk anymore. It feels like he knows that what he was about to say makes him look um, not good, like an exploiter. I'm sorry. What now? How to heal, How to heal? the root Thank cause you. of the knuckle and joint issues in both body minds that flare in the overnights when the bodies are supposed to be sleeping in such a way as to re-establish upward flow for us, the collective of the failed zone. There's a big whooshing feeling in the head. And now we're stretching up much higher. And the place down where that first Gabriel was looks very small below us now. What it looks kind of like is like we're in a room in a very high dimension of supervisors, one of whom is a supervisor of the Gabriel soul stream. Mm -hmm. I see those supervisors. And the Gabriel, who we just saw a, a minute ago, who was stashing all his bad things in small boxes to hide, seems like such a small presence to this big supervisor, mm -hmm. like a tiny ant that he almost isn't even aware that that Gabriel exists. No, but he can feel something wrong. That's true. I know he can feel something wrong. That's true. Asking the supervisor, what now? for us the collective of a failed zone to reestablish upward flow in such a way as to heal the knuckle and joint issues in both these host lives. What now? what the presence feels like, I don't know if he's saying it out loud, is if so many troubles can come from something as small as that ant that Gabriel is, mm -hmm. then there must be enormous troubles everywhere that I'm responsible for. There are enormous troubles everywhere. 
I'm sorry, and so is it for all of us. That's actually true. Inside of all of our bodies, inside of this failed zone, there are enormous troubles that we are responsible for. That's true. It's true for all of us. It's okay. It's true for you, it's true for me, it's true for all of us. I don't know who the speaker is. I don't know who the speaker is. But it's somebody who feels calm. That's true. It might be Saul. It might be Saul. What now? What now to heal the root causes of the knuckle and joint issues in both host lives and whatever they represent in such a way is to reestablish upward flow for us, the collective of the failed zone. What now? The question is going up higher than that last supervisor's room now. And it looks like the question itself has decided to climb, if that makes any mm-hmm. sense. Mm-hmm. Like now the question also wants to know the answer. Yes, we want to know. I want to know the answer. We're sending up a stream of electrons up to power the question up higher. And wind I beneath the wings. Yes! It is like wind beneath the wings. I still see Pan loading the dead child souls onto the buckets in that smaller dimension way down there as fast as he can. Mm-hmm. We don't seem to be running out of the resource of dead children. No, that's true trapped away from the light. That's true. Seems to be enough of that to keep us going. That's true. Very high above us, I just heard a sound that sounds almost like a doorbell ringing in a very Mm -hmm. big house. Mm -hmm. And I see someone who looks like the question itself standing on a doorstep in front of a very big door. Mm Mm-hmm. And I hear someone coming to the door where the question is waiting. Mm -hmm. And what it looks like is it's the owner of the house, but he wants to pretend that he's a butler, so that if he doesn't like what the question is, he can pretend he's just the butler and the owner isn't there. Mm -hmm. But he's opening the door. What now? to heal the root cause of the knuckle and joint issues in both ground zero host lives that flare in the overnight and then whatever they represent in such a way as to reestablish upward flow for us the failed zone. What now? The big presence does not seem to be pretending to be the butler. It seems like that was not the question he thought it was going to be, and now he feels very sad. If I live stream up to the supervisors of that big presence who was considering pretending to be the butler, so -hmm. that they know, so you know, Mm -hmm. then really no matter what happens, you know, and I know you know. And now it's very quiet again, and there's another opening feeling in the head. And now it feels like maybe the question is just climbing higher, leaving the butler man behind. Reaching up and calling for those presences who really want to pull us, the group, onto our soul plan. And I see presences very high up, who seem to think maybe we're so small that what happens to us doesn't affect them very much, so they might as well put us on our soul plans and maybe they'll get brownie points with the people higher than them. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I see you, 